This is Matt Lees and welcome to Sponge Squad. My day has just become immeasurably better by the addition of broccoli cooked uh, with a combination of uh, fried anchovies, um, garlic and a whole chilli. So there you are, with some pasta, obviously. Oh, XCOM, yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, where are we? How are we doing? So, well, yes, no broccoli here. So obviously we're moving on from the tremendously sad loss of uh, Sandra Bacon. And now we are attacking a enemy thing. That's right, enemy things. Oh my god. And, um, yeah. Okay. I need to take an outsider, basically. <laughs> outsider? I barely knew her. That's a joke. It's a joke to do with sex. It's not really, actually. Well, I suppose it is, actually. Yeah, I know it is. Anyway. Hopefully, things will go a bit more smoothly this week. I need to be a lot more careful, basically. Key learning. And Peekaboo Jones is the one who needs to make shit happen. Because Peekaboo is armed with the zappy thing. Zap! Not ideal, though, because Peekaboo Jones was also the person who was carrying the medkits. I probably should have moved the med kits on somebody else, in fact. Well, med kit. No one else can hold as many as she can. Oh, no one can hold as many med kits as they can. But uh, you'll see I brought some squaddies along this time, so I've got... Paul Dean! Up here. Used to be... A French woman. I'm sure he'd actually really like that, so it's fine. <laughs> I said... Made him sound like a pervert, really. No, no, he's just... He's just uh, deeply invested in the importance of equality. As am I. <sighs> I don't want to split up too much, but... I do want to get some high ground. So, I think it's time for me to check out my jet boots. Jet boots, ooh, do 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 do. Jumping up on top of things with jet boots, ooh, ooh do do do. Jet boots. <laughs> yeah, I need more lyrics out there, really. But yeah, anchovies, eh? Anchovies. Whoa, what are they like, eh? Well, they're, they are very much like fish because that's what they are. But um, yeah, Whoa, I don't know. They're pretty good. The funny thing about anchovies, you know, the funny thing about anchovies is when you cook them in oil, you just sort of sizzle them around the pan quite gently on a low heat with some oil. Is they disappear. They, you'd think that they wouldn't, but they do. They, they sort of like you poke them around and they collapse and they basically just become this sort of brown, mushy fish dust. Which might sound like your idea of hell, but um, it's a very delicious base for a pasta sauce. It's a very delicious alternative to, uh, alternative to salt, really. So there you have it. <laughs> Don't say I never teach you anything about fish. Okay. Okay.
Hmm. I'm going to keep these guys up here for now. I don't want to push them forward any further. Because that would be a bad, bad, bad idea. However... Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Early run and gun might not be a bad idea just because of the fact that at least it will it will refresh. That might not be a good position though. No, I think it's all right. Yeah, let's get that go. Yeah, boy. That was actually a bit cocky of me. That was a bit dim, but um. The thing is, I could do this, and that would do up to two damage to two of them. But it would pretty much wipe out my ammo. I think I'm better off with this. No. Well, it doesn't really make a massive difference, I suppose. Is still standing. Playing it safe up here, I think. Playing it very safe. I just really, I don't want them to uncover a new group of aliens at this stage. That would be very bad. Lucky that front shield is really good. Really good. I mean, you know, it still can hit you, but it makes it a lot harder. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh bloody hell. Um... Bloody hell. Is it worth doing this? I think it might be, you know? Hmm. Where's the UFO? Okay, the UFO is over there. I'm kind of wondering if it's worth dashing over here, just because then... Five, five. That's quite a number, isn't it? Really is quite a number. Seventy percent is a good chance. Come on. Ah. Could have done with that, guys. Could have done with that. Really, really could have done with that. Hmm. Change of plans, yeah. Change of plans, absolutely. Yes, sir. Stannis is coming over here because I'm going to need that rocket, I think. I think what I'm going to do here... Is play it super safe. I'm on it, Commander. Yes. 50% chance. I like it. Yeah, because the thing is, I would have been up for doing some flanky-panky action, but uh, I can't move from here to any proper cover, so I'm not really comfortable doing that. So I'd rather just play it safe for now. Fuck sticks. Being shot at by mystery bastards. Many would say the worst kind of bastard. Right, first things first, what's the range on this? It's not going to be enough, is it? Nah. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That's good. I'll take that. Yes. 
<laughs> I love the animation, you know. You just know. It's done a good animation. You know what that means. That means... Good times. On my way. Okay, you no. Know, no sight of the aliens there. Hmm. God, that was stupid. I had my heart just jumped there. Why the fuck did I do that? I do not want to uncover more aliens. I have enough aliens. Um, okay, I'm going to assume... Hmm... I'm going to assume that this will work, okay. because they... If, yeah, if I can't see them, then they can't see me. That's the Winnie the Pooh logic right there. It's good logic, though. Winnie the Pooh, he knew, he knew his shit, you know? I mean, admittedly, most of the shit he knew was related to... honey. But, uh... You know, he knew some stuff. Ooh, and I have uncovered some enemies over there, and that is, uh... But at least they moved in on their turn. That makes a difference. Yes, nice. And now I wish I'd left the rocket dude over there. <laughs> oh, XCOM, you wily coyote. Guess you're going on Overwatch then, buds. In fact, is it you who can do the whole... Who is it who got that? I can't remember who it was. One of the people has got the, um, the upgrades that they can... Lightning reflexes. But I don't know who it is. It's not a mech, because it's not a mech skill. Yeah, it's Polo. Chicken to the stars. Roger that. Yeah. I've not I've not been counting these guys very effectively. I don't I don't know how many there are. Hmm. And we have Kino Dean. Kino Dino. I'm worried about you. <laughs> I really am. I feel safer now to... Yeah, that's fine. Having taken out some of them, I, I think it was just a, initially it was like he can't really take hits from about eight of them, you know. <laughs> I think because there were about six or seven at one point, I think maybe just six. But yeah, six shots would be bad. Come on, crunch! Oh. Oh, that's bad. Please stop shooting these guys. I really don't want to lose Maryberry. Really, really, really don't want to lose Maryberry. Meld. That's the meld. 95%. That's good. Good odds. Good. I know cover doesn't make a huge difference with these guys, but I am very, very worried about losing him. 
So, so yes, that's uh, why I've suddenly gone into absolute pansy mode. But it is time for Peekaboo to start having a clean sweep. I really should have counted. Why didn't I count? Ah, oh, why didn't I count? It's just such a basic thing to do. Count how many enemies there are. Count how many you've killed. I fear that, well, uh, while my pasta and broccoli and uh, fishy, fishy, chilly treats may have... Uh, may have made me happier, it may have also made me uh, less okay. less aware <laughs> Good to go. I'm succumbing to the food coma yes my child succumb to the food, the fishy fishy food coma It's a very good dish, though. It's a very good dish. <laughs> the secret is the chili. You have to put in a whole chili. Just for one person. Chop it up. Chop, chop, chop. So that makes it salty, garlicky, very, very spicy. I really don't want to move forward because I'm worried that there are thin men over there in Overwatch mode. Thin men in Overwatch mode are very dangerous. Largely because... Well... Largely because of the fact that they have the aim boost. Because the plasma, light plasma rifles give them a, a plus... What is it? Plus... I think, I think it is plus 10 to aim. Which means they just hit you more often than you want them to. My reticence here, however, will likely mean that I don't get the, um... It'll likely mean I don't get the other male canister, to be honest. Which is not good, but... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? My biggest concern now, actually, is if I uncover a bunch of those squiddy things, because I have got a bit split up over there. And also, even with their lasers, they can use it's uh, they're quite quite unpleasant. Let's give this a punt. No, really. Where the piss are they? How far back have they moved exactly? I don't... Hmm... That was a bit of a risk, really. It's not a good sign when I find myself playing in this mode of being kind of... making a move and then split seconds later being like, you shouldn't have done that. As soon as I press the button going, that was a bad idea. Uh, Oh, come on, guys, where are you? I've got my eyes on. I really don't want to make the mad dash. I really, really don't want to make the mad dash. Just because there's not a lot of cover here. And unfortunately, my robot that made cover is dead. Well, there's a UFO. Just over there. Well, if the UFO is over there... 
then. Understood. Moving out. Yes, okay. So lightning reflexes saves on the first shot. Right. Please don't be a second one. There is a second one. Of course there is, and they're both on reaction shot. Oh god, that's that one had my heart going because his bloody character model was blocking. Yes, come on, guys, come on, guys, cause some grief. Ah, oh, Bonoffian. Why have I got the rookies on one flank? That's not smart. Not smart. Yes, come on, come on. Come on. Yes. Good job. That was Dean as well. Kino Dino. Okay. Time to do something stupid here. But I think it's fine. Yeah. Traditionally, that kind of movement would be insane. But I figure that because it's the edge of the map over here, pretty much, we're unlikely to have any more aliens. So it's probably safe to do that. And I do want to get him a kill, you know? If I'm going to start replacing people of the likes of uh, Sandra Bacon, I'm going to need to start getting these, these squaddies out into the field. Thankfully not rookies, though. That was one vast expense that I have absolutely no regret of making. It's a shame it's bloody pure... Uh, I keep seeing pure, pure thin men all the time. I don't want them, man. I want some other stuff. I want to capture something else. Let me capture something else, please. Yeah, and whilst Mary Berry is going to kind of kind of hang back, I do not want them on, want him on his own. Her, sorry. Hmm. Getting very split up here. Not keen, not keen at all. It's getting quite intense. <laughs> For me, anyway. I don't know about for you. I just worry if there's going to be something else in the ship. Something I don't want. Something terrible. And the ominous soundtrack is just chipping away at my resolve. It may be, oh, it may be that we just have nothing unusual. Bloody crashing UFOs, it's such a nightmare. Okay. It's such a nightmare. The cover's so erratic. Okay. I hate using half cover. Half cover is bollocks. Let's do this. The amount of times I've lost men just do half cover, being like, yeah, it's fine, he's on full health, he's behind half cover, and then just be like, headshot, bang. Your man is dead. Uh, 
How's it going, Puldeen? You look like you want to be a hero. There's the other metal canister, which I have, lo I have lost. Okay. Right. So, I'm starting to feel a bit more, a bit more comfortable here. Yes, that should be fine. Kind of in that zone now where I just need to basically surround the craft, get everyone nice and close, and then go in for the stun, the stun one-two kill. I don't want to risk anything here. So Peekaboo Jones is going to be the one to uh, take the shot in terms of actually capturing the blasted thing. It's time for you to move forward slightly, sir. It's okay, don't panic, don't panic. Everything's probably fine. There's something out there. Mm. Indeed there is. Okay. There's something out there, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But it's it's like an alien probably. We killed tons of aliens already, man! Why are you being such a doofus? Screw you, man! Oh, I see. Oh, it's fine. You never get aliens in these bits. It's really weird. You never, you never, I mean, maybe that's something they have changed with the, um... It's possible that's something they've, they've updated. But, uh, as far as I know, like, you just, well... In the original XCOM... Uh, without the expansion, you just this that this room, this sort of like Y-shaped room, you just never get aliens in it. Like ever, it's weird. Like, I, I mean, sometimes they they run off into here, or sometimes they run into here to fight you. But generally speaking, you just never ever see them in this specific setup. I'm torn now. I want to keep Mary Berry back, but at the same time, I feel like it might be wise to just have him nearby as a kind of backup, just in case. Because it means that then, if something goes horribly wrong, he can, like, basically run in and punch something to death. Because <sighs> I'm, I'm fairly confident that there isn't going to be, there aren't going to be that many aliens left in here. I think it might just be the dude that we need. Captain Alien, dude. But it might not be. Sometimes you open these final doors and suddenly it's like, oh shit, there's actually quite a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, I am gonna... I'm gonna move... Mary Berry in. But only as a precaution. To be honest as well, actually, he might be safer with us. He might be safer with us. Double time. What was that sound? What's in there? No, nothing. This is where things get real. On the move. On Overwatch. Even though I don't really... I'm kind of putting them on Overwatch with the assumption that... that it's not going to be needed. Because I don't think the alien... If it is an outsider... 
the outsiders don't trigger until you go into the room. They're like, it's kind of almost like a, a safety feature. <laughs> they suddenly activate, it's like autopilot mode. <laughs> I do like the fact that I could technically just punch through a wall as my way of en entering. Not really any point in doing that, but hey. Okay. Whew. I'm quite stressed about this because I need to capture this outsider. I'm in a good spot for it though. Because really what I need to do here is... Hmm. Okay. Let's think sensibly about this. He doesn't have any disadvantages to... Yeah, he doesn't have any disadvantages to Overwatch. So I'll put him on Overwatch with a pistol in the hope that he might pop off a shot if there is one in here. We should make every yes. One of those creatures using the arc thrower. There doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. Okay, one damage. Not ideal. However... This could be worse. Because I believe he's not in proper cover there. No, he, he actually sort of is. Hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. Oh, I can't because I haven't bloody reloaded. Ah, that's not good. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I should have reloaded, then I could pop around the corner and destroy the cover. It would be beautiful. As it is... I guess I could take a hit, take a chance. Oh dear. He's only got half cover though. Oh fuck sticks. Right, well. Oh yeah, but it enables you to fire, but not use items after dashing, so I'd need to get closer anyway. Oh, bollocks. Um, might as well give it a punt then. Nice, okay. This isn't ideal, but uh, please don't kill anyone. Overwatch, that's actually uh, excellent. How do I do this? How do I do this? Little puzzle right here, eh? Little puzzle right here. Ah, excellent. Cover, brilliant, okay. Lightning reflexes. So that misses. Right, okay. D no longer has cover. And I cannot use that after dashing, so... I 
I can, however, do this. Okay, I'm, I'm getting quite concerned here. <laughs> um... Don't want to do Overwatch because I don't want to kill it. However, if it does, if it does get here, it cannot live. That's that's a fair kind of setup to have, I think. If it gets that far, and I think actually the smartest thing to do here is to hunger down. Even though it means I can't, I won't be able to see where he goes if he does move. Overwatch. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Roger that. I was slightly concerned that he was either going to run away, which would be a nightmare, or charge me. <laughs> okay. Moving to position. Just in case it fails. <laughs> to be honest, if it fails, I might have to kill him. 80% chance. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Mission accomplished in fucking deed, yes. Oh, good lord, that was really stressful. I got, I don't know, like, I guess... I wasn't particularly worried about someone dying, even though actually it is a risk with those guys. It was more, I think... I was worried that I'd end up having to kill the Outsider. Because killing the Outsider would have been bad. It would have been real, real bad. Just because I really need to take a base. Outsider shot, fast. Fast research, babe. Haven't got enough meld either. 20 meld, not good. I do need more of that stuff. I still haven't got my scope upgrade from the foundry. Come on. At least I've got all them. At least I've got all them. Okay, covert operation in six days. You know what I might do? No, I think you can only have one covert operation at a time. I believe. Maybe not. Maybe you can have more than one. I'm tempted to use a scan. Maybe I'll wait until I've just done that mission, just in case, because I'm worried that you can't do more than one at once. Mech repair one day. Good. Good. That's good. Some good stuff at the foundry, actually. There is some good stuff. But it's all quite expensive. Alright. Let's just have a look at my base. I've looked at my base for a little while. Let's go check out check out them facilities. 80. Wow, it gets it does get really expensive, doesn't it? I forgot about that. I don't even have enough money to dig that open. Don't even have enough money. I'm not going to sell stuff in the grey market and just sit on money, I don't think. That's a bad idea. Well, I do need bloody... Oh, let's have a look at the fan. Um, no, 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 no. Where is it? Ah! Good lord. What do I need? I can't... Genetics lab, no. No, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. There is, There are more buildings I need, but I don't have them yet. I really need some more scientists. I really need some more scientists. Outside of Shadow in one day, though, that is sweet. 
Yes. 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 Good. That is good. I do need some better armor. I've got a hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. Sweet, I've got a key. I got a key, baby. I got a key. I got a key to the alien base heart. Ah. But um No, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do an alien base assault just yet, I don't think. I'll do it soon, don't get me wrong, but um not just yet. I don't really need it. I mean, worldwide is actually looking quite good at the moment. I think I'll see what happens in the next few days. Um, one thing I do need to do, though, let's have a look. Okay, I've got four more slots and four satellites on the way, I believe. Yeah, six days. Fine, fine, fine. A small UFO, you say? Come on, shoot it down, shoot it down, shoot it down, bruv, shoot it down. Go on, mate, go on, mate. Have it. Lads. UFO lads. UFO lads. Whee. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that one. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I think then we're going to go back to, because I'm pretty sure what's it called is out of... Uh... Where is he? Yeah. Now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking. Because he's got, like, the extra three movement. And that is sweet. That is sweet. Sweeties! Hmm. I think for this mission, actually, I'm going to leave chicken at home and bring Brendan Caldwell. Who is, of course, my new mech in the old suit. Yeah. Who doesn't really have any abilities yet, but that's kind of why. It's time for you to come and earn some stripes. Sunshine. And, uh, yeah. Let's do this. It's only a small UFO as well. What's the worst thing that can happen? Literally famous last words there. That's uh, famous last words. Just inside the Egyptian border. It looks like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Oh, no. Not a densely populated area. What is it like? A, like a, is it dense like a cake? Like a like a fruit cake. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, big sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Heading there now. All right, Crunch. You're up. Let's go. I need to get some meld as well. I've got my eye on uh, I've got my eye on some of those upgrades. And if I want to get those upgrades, I need some money. Heading to that location. On Overwatch. Moving to position. Affirmative. Covering now. There now. Hmm. Okay, je bouge. Je bouge, indeed. Don't know what that means. Don't know what that means. Presumably, it's French for the bouge. 
But um, it's, I know that's not true, by the way. I don't speak French, but uh, I'm not a complete muppet. And of course, that of course is a brazen lie. Of course, I'm a complete muppet. Complete muppetry is my. Uh, what can I get? Let's go up here. Yeah. Squids. I might have known as much. That's actually... Well, I don't think the squids can choke the robot men. I really hope they can't anyway, because um, I'm a bit concerned that no one else will be able to... will be able to see that angle. <laughs> Shit. Or even if they can, it's going to be... Yeah, I'm going to maybe have to move around a bit. Because I'm a bit concerned. Because if, if they can strangle the mechs... I might not be able to get the firing angle. In the same way I had a problem a couple of episodes ago, you remember where I was trying to get a guy to shoot off a roof. And it wasn't working. Because sometimes if it's, if it's too steep, it just doesn't work. No, luckily, I don't think... Maybe they can't go for robots. Oh, God, come on. Yeah! It's all right, because we're saved by the sniper. Uh-oh. Whew. I was worried it was going to... Uh... I was worried we crashed it there. Okay, so we got one of the Mel canisters there. The other one. Where is the bloody UFO? Must be. Ah, oh, there it is. I can see it. It's a bit of a... Actually, that's yeah, quite an obvious one. But sometimes there's a bit of a skill to, uh, <laughs> to that, I find. Being like, can you spot? Can you spot the UFO? It's like a weird noise. I don't know if it's part of this map or if there's an alien out there that makes weird noises. I don't like it though. It's a weird noise, Captain. I don't like it. Moving to designated position. Actually, I'm still being a bit crazy here considering there are... There are still squids around. Watch out! Squids about! Stick together in pairs of twos, boys and girls. Boys and girls. Oh, yeah. On route to target. Let's get this meld. Let's get this meld. Okay. Well, that answers my question. I don't think they, they decided to try and shoot at the mech. So I don't think they can strangle them. It doesn't really make sense them being able to strangle a mech, because to be honest, you would have thought the mech would A, maybe they don't have enough of visible neck to grab, and B, come on, that you can't really crush a mech that easily. You can't lift them up and choke them to death in the same way. Okay, yeah. Heading there now. Pardon me for the burp just a moment there. The more eagle-eared of you will have noticed that, yes, I did do a burp. I can only apologize. I can only give you my, my a solemn and utmost. It's unforgivable. There's, there's no way I can ever truly make this up to you again, but... Uh, uh, sugar, my, sugar my buns, you know? That's, that's all I can say on the matter. Jet boots! Everything about you so jet boots! Everything is... It boots. Yeah, that's uh, another original song. I don't know where I get all the tunes from, you know. It's very, very inventive of me, I think. Okay. No, nope, let's move forward and then reload. Okay. Peekaboo Jones. Me. And Peekaboo Jones. Enemy spotted. 
Oh. Hello, hello. That's potentially quite bad. <laughs> Hooray! I think I'm going to go and stand here. If you want to come at me, bro, you can do that. But, uh, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. Or not. Maybe you're going to be absolutely fucking fine. Right. Well, I don't need to capture one of them, because I've already done it. Moving. Come on, Brendan. Time for you to earn your stripes. Your flame stripes. <laughs> good job. Oh, cool, there are more enemies. That's good. I want something else. I want a new treat to play with. Oh, they've really, they've really scratched that. That's gonna, that's gonna cost a lot to get sorted, that is. Yeah, yes. You're gonna need a whole new paint job, mate. A whole new paint job. Nightmare. Meld collected. Captain. Captain Sausage Fingers, we have the meld. This is Lieutenant Potato phoning in. Captain Sausage Fingers, are you there? I read you, Lieutenant Potato. What appears to be the issue? Captain Sausage Fingers, we have... We appear to have, we appear to have dropped all of the tangerines. What? What do you mean, Lieutenant? No, I'm... I, no, you're the Lieutenant. You've, you've forgotten which character is which already in the two-person conversation. This... This fiction has no hope of continuing effectively. Right. And on that bombshell, let's get this man to run over there. I say man, it is a lady, of course. But I can admit that. I can admit I was wrong. Oh shit, son. Well, this is annoying. That's double annoying. Okay. Okay. Why is it not... Why is it going mental here? Why is it going mental? Alright, Zhang. Zhang, my man. You are up. Yeah, look at that, see? It's ridiculous. He can't even see it, but he can. Rockets, mate. Rockets. Yes, and I think... I upgraded him with stuff. So that he did more damage or something. That's the kind of precise commentary. That's why you guys are... We all know that's why you guys follow my, my work on the internet. Heavily, heavily precise. 80% come on, that's nice. Only 6 damage, but... Come on. My ammunition is running low. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Oh, of course, yeah, you can't go up there, can you? You're not one of the cool kids. On my way. Come on, Brendan. It's time for you to earn your... Uh, Sandwiches. Ooh, that's not good. But have a go. 
Yes! Top dog. Sexy banana. A hundred percent chance to hit. Oh, will I hit him? Will I hit him? Will I? Yes, yes, definitely yes. I've got to be honest though, I am pretty gutted. Eleven. He had one health, and I did eleven damage. That's fucking silly. Okay. Not even run and gun it. Just, just, just because I can. No, I don't even need to. I don't need to. I was kind of hoping that the last there will be more aliens and aliens that I could capture because I do want I want more research credits please mum luckily these guys aren't that much trouble yeah I mean like they heal stuff quite effectively come on let's try and get Brendan let's get Brendan an upgrade maybe it's got to be a better. 78%. I mean, I think you'd have to be a bit of an idiot to miss that, but give it a go. Nice. My nice. Two canisters. Operation Silent Priest is a bloody success. Without any blood as well, which is ideal. That was all, like, drone stuff, actually. Captain! I think that's going to have to be that, really. Five defense per enemy in sight. It just makes more sense, especially for the whole... Um, although... Allow reaction slots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movements. That is, together, that is quite good. Yeah, I'm going to go for that, actually. Just because, just because he's already got the, she's already got the Overwatch bonus. Another cycling proficiency badge. I've got to be... Why is it whenever I give people badges, people start dying? Why is it that people start dying when I give them badges? I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Okay, well, it actually costs the same amount to uh, build a second level one. Why can't I do that? Why can't I build a new one? Why can't I do that? Hang on a minute, maybe they maybe they do get both. That'd be mental. Oh no. No, I don't want that. Why didn't it let me do the... Ah, oh, maybe I have to upgrade them. Yeah, I do. And it costs fucking loads. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, fuck sticks. Oh, I'm going to have to get a third mech, aren't I? Just going to have to do that. Sod it. Let's uh, augment a soldier. I can't because it's going to cost. It's going to cost, isn't it? Insufficient resources. Well, well, as soon as I've got enough money, Paul, I'm going to cut off your arms and legs and turn you into a robot. That's a promise. That is a lovely Lee's promise. Alien abductions as well. When did that happen? Oh my lord, I'm a busy man. Right, well then I've got alien abductions, a covert operation in one day, and an alien base assault. I think it's going to have to be abductions first. What the hell? Oh god, it's... Alright, oh well now I'm doing this first then, aren't I? Okay. Looks like I'm going in to another mission. 
Hooray! Oh, and this is an exalt one, which means there's no point trying to take dudes alive. Oh, no, no. No, actually, I do want... I do want you, Zhang. I do want you. Come back, Zhang. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Where are you? There you are. I just need to make items available. Once more into the breach, my friend. Good lord, it is all kicking off. Okay. Okay. Transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Objectives updated. <sighs> okay. So that's the transmitter. This is the encoder, so I had to get over here. And my dude, my my operative, wherever he is, where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's actually really close to them, that's good. He can disrupt these things, which is good. Si, senor. It looks like Exalt deployed a series of communications relays in the area. If our operative can get close enough and access the relay using the encryption keys they acquired from Exalt's data, they should be able to temporarily disrupt the enemy's comm network. Enemy target in range. Wow, okay. It's kicking off, Muriel. Hmm. Zhang's a tough one. He is a tough one. So hopefully that will help. Okay. Only 60% there. It's tempting to go for collateral damage, but... That does have problems. Yeah, come on. 70%, 70% critical. Or do I go for 100% chance? Yes, I think that's smarter. Did he just move to more cover, though? I think he did. That's cheating. Ah, it's not as good, though. It's not as good. You cover shit me. Not a problem anymore. Moving to firing position. Yeah. Let's get some aggression on the go. Okay, it's pretty good. Smashing, Dean, smashing. That's a James Bond style pun, they are. You don't get them every day, do you? Actually, no, you do get them most days. Come on, oh yes! Kicking ass 
and Taking Names, a short documentary. <laughs> you're not dead. Fair enough, you're not dead, but, you know. Okay, fine. Do that. Whatever, mate. Whatevs. I can still see you, so I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> Feels good to do that to a, to a, another person, you know, like, because it always happens to me. You're like, I'll just run away and go into Overwatch. And it's like, doesn't matter. They're still going to kill you. Still gonna kill you, still gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you to do. Let's disrupt the piss out of these things. And, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get these guys to go. I need to go over here. Just because I figure that means if anyone runs in, he's kind of within range to just immediately run over and punch them in the face. And for that reason, I also want to get Caldwell in. You can basically cover the two sides of the building. Flamethrower is much more effective, to be honest. But not half as much fun. <laughs> Twice as effective. Half the fun. Yes. Well, I want to go and take out this relay. Which means I'm going to need cover. Okay, I need to get to that room quite quickly. <laughs> I don't really know what disabling the transmitters does. I assume it means less reinforcements? I don't really know, though. Bloody hell, I'm amazed you saw that, mate. Fair play for trying. Fair play for trying. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Moving to position. I'm watching. It's actually pretty safe, I think. I think the distance is so far away from those guys. Although I do feel a bit dim for uh, going out of my way to try and secure these things when I don't really know what they do. I think they reduce the length of the mission. I really do. Just because... Just because, frankly. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can pop around the corner and set fire to those bastards. get this guy in a full cover position where he can actually have a view on I think actually where he is is probably the best for now. It's the best it's going to get for now anyway. I don't think they're overwatched, so I'm going to take a chance with this. Got over here. 
Ah, sp now they are. Oh man, I wish I had a grenade right now. <laughs> that is just asking for a grenade. Oh, no, don't do grenades of your own. No, it's alright, it's just smoke. It's just smoke. I wonder. No, 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 no. However, this is what I'll do. Surely, I think they're likely to move into that area, and then I wipe, I move in, wipe it out. Do what we came here to do, White. Get the job done. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. Going there now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, rocket would have been out of range there. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna tell myself that anyway. Again, with these uh, transmitters, I kind of wonder if it's a system whereby... I kind of wonder if it's a system whereby you it deactivates it for a certain amount of time, so there's no point in running around doing them all at once, but I don't know. There's something I should probably read up on, to be honest. Hmm... It's going to have to be that, isn't it? I wonder. Yeah, let's do it. Sod it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate, you shouldn't have stood by a car, should you, you dickhead? Cars are like well explosive. Fine, do that. Heal yourself. Waste your turn. Waste your Healy boxes. I'm coming for you, boys. I'm coming for you. There's another group of exalt reinforcements moving into position, Commander. Oh uh oh. Actually. Nice. Not as nice. However, not too worried about that. They're nah, getting slightly more worried, actually. <laughs> getting progressively more worried in uh, incremental notches. I think it's time for you to come inside. <laughs> it's time for you to come back inside now, son. <laughs> Okay. Not enough ammo. I thought as much. Okay. In you go. Come on, let's fill up. Fill up. Fill them up. However, these boys are in quite a lot of trouble. <laughs> there won't be anything left. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Oh snap. Oh snap. Okay. Oh man, it's one of these. I can do it. I can do it. But ah, uh, come on, come on. Have I done it? I either pressed it at the wrong time or the right time. It said this something. Does that mean this? Disoriented. I didn't get to read the rest of it. Good lord, come on, help me out here. Hmm. Actually, yeah, Overwatch Sentinel. Of course, I need to use her Overwatch more because she gets to do Overwatch twice when people are firing, which is fucking awesome. Come on, boys. Come at me. Come at me. Don't just reload. Do something. Oh. And now you're out of ammo. Good lord, lady. Come on. You could do better than that. I've seen you do better. Alright. Playing like that, are we? Playing it like that. So they're not doing a very good job of... Uh, trying to stop me. That's pretty strong. 80%, 70%. Let's do this. Headshot. <laughs> yeah! 13. Do I have to secure this? I can't remember. Or do they have to secure it? I think they have to secure it for three turns. 15%. Fuck off. Yeah, I don't really want to mess around with White too much. Not, he's not the best soldier in the world they have ever. These guys aren't on Overwatch though, which means I can move up here and maybe cause some real grief for them. Who knows? How close is he to that car? Not close enough to get blown up by it, unfortunately. S yeah, let's give it a go. Seventy percent. Yeah! Enemy destroyed indeed. What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? Probably call in reinforcements, I imagine. Oh, don't fire a rocket. No, don't do that, please. God, that hurt. I really need better armor. I need better armor, like, so badly. I'm totally, when it gets to the point of doing the, um... I really need, um... I'm gonna go for scientists. I need some scientists, big time. Okay. I'm on my You're getting punched in the face. Approaching to engage. Oh, I was hoping to destroy that as well, but I guess that kind of ruins the game of being like, you have to use this band to deactivate them. Hmm. 
Hmm. One drop down here? I can't even remember. Hmm. I don't think so. And there's one on the roof at the end. I'm not I'm not keen on that, I've got to be honest. Oh. Okay, I know that's the same one. That's the same one. Let's get you hunkering down. You got me a hunkering for some down, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. That's because what I'm saying doesn't really make any sense. Damn. Right. Jones needs to get out of sight quite badly. There is a wall separating this and the roof, isn't there? Yes, there is. Okay, fine. Well, he can't... That's good. That means if I go over here and hunker down... I should be in a position where no one can see me. Oh no, of course, I can just use bloody... You're the one carrying the first aid kits. <laughs> Silly Pickapo Jones, silly, silly lady. Come on, come on. Run out, run out. Give me an easy shot. Yeah, come on, Dave McDave. Grave McDave, opportunist headshotter. <laughs> I love snipers. I love snipers so much. So very, very much, you know, I do love them. I do love them a lot. What a whole lot of loves. Moving to position. Right. Ah, okay. Well, I've kind of got the upper hand here. Yeah, and they can't complete this mission. What they need to do to finish this mission is to take that room, and they can't take that room without going into it. And so I've sort of got them by the balls, I think. I believe, gentlemen, that I have you by... The Hakahones. Oh, uh oh. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Uh oh. That one's got more health. So, that one, I guess. Oh, come on. That was a 90% critical chance as well. That would have been sweet as biscuits. <sighs> Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Right. I think those guys are going to get flamethrowered. Leave him alone as well. Just leave everyone alone, right? Oh, no. He can't flamethrow them both now. It's fine. You're rubbish. You're all bloody rubbish. Alright, this does two damage. I 
don't want to hit my guy as well. And then he's got... If this, if this does one damage, then he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven health left. If it does two damage... I'll give it a go. Oh, only one. That's that's annoying. Sod it. Let's give it a go. No close, but no cigar. No cigar. That's good, though. Oh, fudge sticks. Fuck this. Oh, fuck. Uh... Okay. Excellent. I think I've made them panic. Yes. Of course, because they're they're humans. <laughs> weak, weak, <laughs> Rep very 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 weak and repetitive uh, humans. <laughs> I've only got one soundbite for this situation. I've only got one soundbite for this situation. Rhyme. No. Oh, okay. Of course, I haven't got the next turn yet, have I? Um. No. Let's give it a punt. Nah. I'm a bit worried though, because I'm just like, if they don't panic. Hmm. I really need them to panic again. That's the thing. Um, if they don't panic again, that's, that's me in a bit of trouble, really. Can I get this? Yeah, I can get the just to get that guy. Actually, no, he's quite close. Oh, no, they're not panicking. <sighs> Luckily, they're also shit. Wow. Yeah, they're really, really bad, aren't they? Oh, don't do that, you cheeky fucks. Okay. Okay, right. Here's the plan. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, good. I thought I was going to bloody not hit him there. That would have been a nightmare. That would have been like, well, literally a horrendous callback to uh, the whole Sandra Bacon fiasco. Now it's time for the boys to run in. And clean it up. Give it your best shot, Jimmy. Nice. That's sweet. That is sweet. For the 
kill. Orders confirmed on the move. Ever so slightly, I've made a mis worried I made a mistake there. Because if he runs around and shoots her, he might be able to kill her. <gasps> ah, but this is an open building. <laughs> Which means walls don't count. <laughs> Excellent work indeed. Excellent work indeed. I must have got some promotions for that as well. Come on. Time is passing though as I'm flying around the world. Yes, Grave McDave. Peekaboo is out of action though. That's not good. It's not good. That's lovely. You are totally having that. That's going to give you ridiculous, ridiculous critical hits. And you've got a nickname as well, was it? Oh, it's already, he's already had that Cyclops. Nothing new there. And another Noel Edmonds Memorial. Hey! And of course, Jimmy White. He got his... He got his stuff. He got his stuff. That's good. That is good. Alien abductions next, though. Beijing, Cologne. I've only been to Cologne of those three. It's quite a nice place. It's not bad. Hmm. I figure I should go for the scientists because I need them. But anyway, this is another thing for another day. This has been a particularly extended uh, Sponge Court episode, I believe. But it uh, looks like the next one is going to be a bit of a tasty one as well. Time will tell. But yes... Not in a bad spot. Could do with some more meld. Could do with some more research. Urgh. But it could be worse. Thank you very much as ever for watching. And wish the Sponge Squad good luck in their next endeavor. Goodbye!